Hello valued viewers, I hope you're doing very well. Today we're in the Hornet and we're looking at ACLS Automatic Carrier Landing System. It's part of a Case 3 carrier recovery and allows the aircraft to be linked to the carrier and guided automatically for the last few miles. So we start in the mission editor because everything has to be set up correctly with the aircraft carrier for this to work. I have a Hornet here, he's coming out of the Marshall stack at 10,000 feet and that's going to be about 300 knots airspeed. So next, create carrier about there, about 40 miles ahead of us. I'm going to issue him a waypoint up here and I'm going to make him travel at say 20 knots. 20 knots. Next, make sure we have waypoint zero selected on him. He's already got attack and activation but I'm going to delete that so we can do it from scratch. Next, very important to change the group name and unit name of this aircraft carrier. I'm just going to call it carrier because why not? So group name and unit name are both carrier. Next with waypoint zero here selected, add here. Perform command. We're going to start with activate TACAN. We need the name of the carrier here and the name of the carrier here which matches up there and there. I'm not sure why but it's just a thing you have to do. It is a TACAN, so it needs a channel set with it, let's say 12. And finally, unit here, carrier, add. Next, let's activate ICLS, Instrument Carrier Landing System. Similar, name, there, name, there. Channel, uh, 13, unit, carrier. Next is... Activate link 4, which allows the carrier to link and control the aircraft. Same thing. Name. Frequency, you can change it if you want, but I'm just going to leave it. And unit carrier. Finally, activate ACLS. Name there. Name there. Carrier. Oh, now that's very easy to make some mistakes, so I'm just going to go through them and check them. Yep. Yep. Whoops. Missed. Yep. Save and off we go. So the first thing to say is that to get the carrier to, to force it into a case 3 recovery, which is what we need, we need to set in the mission editor the weather to be very inclement like we've got here and or at night. That will do the job. Next, let's check controls. You'll need all of your normal flight controls plus to call the ball. Plus you'll need ATC for automatic throttle control. Plus, if you do not have easy comms turned on, you'll need COM switch COM1. This is a very complex procedure. It requires, let me just pause it, I'm going to do lots of pausing today so I've got time to speak to you viewers. It requires a good understanding of various navigation systems and flight control systems like TACAN, ILS, autopilot, like the radio. So I'm going to assume you already know about those. If you don't, then I've got thorough tutorials in this playlist. Next, let's set the jet up. So, first, left screen or DDI, we're going to want HSI. Next, radios, over above that knob there, mouse scroll wheel to M, manual. We need to set the radio frequency of the carrier. To find that, right shift and kilo for the knee pad. We see our ATC frequency, our TACAN channel, our ALS channel, and our link for data link frequency that we set in the mission editor. So ATC, scratch pad, 125000. Check it's on AM, and it is, and enter. Next, we want to declare inbound to the carrier so we can hook up. Control I showed for COM1, we'll bring this little guy up here. ATC, carrier, inbound. Wait for the response. Let her finish, but the key thing we want here is the 349. That is our final bearing, or our radial, as I'm going to call it today. Let's finish off setting up the nav. So next, uh, TACAN here on the UFC. Make sure it's in transmit receive. Type in the channel 12 and enter. And then make sure you turn it on here. Next, ILS, channel 13, enter, turn it on. Finally, data link there, turn it on, make sure it's the right frequency, and it is, but just in case it wasn't, 3360, enter. Okay, 
radio done, TACAN done, ILS done, data link done and checked. Next, on our left screen, our HSI, we're going to convert that to our ACL screen. Do that there. When we do that, it's going to first try and hook up with the carrier. We know it's trying to hook up because it says test. At the end of that test procedure, it will either give us ACL1, which means it's hooked up, or a fail. If it's a fail, then there's something wrong with the frequency or the carrier set up wrong or something like that. It says ACL1 because there are three modes. Mode 1, Mode 1A, and Mode 2. Mode 1 is fully automatic, Mode 1A is semi-automatic, and Mode 2 is advisory only. The default is 1, and today we'll just be looking at 1. Next, on our right DDI, set up um, HSI. Make sure ILS is boxed, and it is. Make sure TACAN is boxed, and it isn't, so box that. Also, we need to set up our course line. So, this knob here, left click and hold, until on the UFC we get C cell, or select. Type in the number that we got from mother. It was 3, 4, 9, enter. We've now set up a radial from the carrier on a bearing of 3, 4, 9. We can see it there. We are there. We can also see it displayed, a deviation arrow on the HUD here. Other than that, we are at 10,000 feet. We've just left our Marshall stack and 300 knots, all of which is fine. And that is pretty much it. I'm going to unpause now. First thing we need to do is get on our radial. No, first thing we need to do is actually turn on our ATC. So we hold at 300 knots for thereabouts. So ATC on with the T key few knots fast doesn't really matter we need to turn into our radial so that we merge with it I'm doing that quite aggressively you can use the symbology on the hard and or on the right screen and we can expedite that because your time is valuable I'll zoom in quite a bit to get a bit more accuracy okay one dot of deviation and turn in to merge with the radial. We are now on the radial heading in the direction of the carrier or we will be in a second. There we are. Right, next thing to do, assuming we are on the radial and in the direction of the carrier as we are, is to head downwards at a descent. Well, it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to do 4,000 feet per minute, which you can measure above the altimeter there, or maybe 5,000 feet. Our target is going to be 6 thousand feet all the time making sure that we're keeping lateral control to keep us on the radial approaching six thousand feet start to level out check the radial we've drifted left slightly so correct slightly fast doesn't really matter at the moment and that is six thousand feet corrected for the radial and pause we're going to do our next contact with mother now which is established so up here if it's not up here for some reason then repress the comms menu until it gets up there. Established. Note, the carrier has made data link contact with us, displayed by the flashing data there. It's going to tell us in our ACL page here what to fly at. It's telling us to fly at 300 knots airspeed at an altitude of 6,000 feet. Otherwise, just stay on the same radial. So, and pause. Follow the orders. And uh, let's get a little bit slower now. So ATC off, power off, maintain altitude, maintain radial. The distance from the carrier is of course shown there on the HUD, very helpful. ATC back on. Our next contact with mother will be at 20 miles from her. I think that's near enough. I'm gonna pause it, bring up the comms menu, commencing. new information from the data link mother is commanding us to fly at 250 knots at 5,000 feet and to get to 5,000 feet at a descent rate of 4,000 feet per minute otherwise maintaining the radial so unpause ATC off off the power air brake on nose down 4,000 feet per minute descent rate check the radial it's all good air brake back in 5,000 feet, level out, wait for 250 knots, which is approaching, check the radial, slightly off, and ATC back on, just get everything level, okay, 250 knots, 5,000 feet, and we're on radio, everything that we've said, let's make new contact with mother, comms menu, check in, okay, once that sequence is complete, comms again, platform, 
New data link information is telling us to travel at 250 knots at an altitude of 1200 feet to get there a descent rate of 2000 feet. All right, let's get straight on it. Otherwise, no changes. So nose down, descent rate to 2000 feet per minute. Laterally check on radial. Ignore everything you see out of the canopy. It will just distract you. Just look at the numbers. Correct back onto radial left. Okay, bang on radial. 15 miles to carrier. Uh, you know what? We can probably just speed this up now. It's going to be a long old descent. 3,000 feet. 2,000 feet. 1,800 feet. 1,300 feet and level out. 1,200 feet and on radial or near enough what we care about. Waiting for the next information to come through, which will be, I think, at 8 miles. So we're going to speed it up just a shade. Maintain 1,200 feet. Okay, new information come through. We are now being commanded to change our airspeed to 140 knots. Stay at 1,200 feet. Also do a landing check. That means configure the aircraft for landing gear, flaps, and hook. Otherwise, stay on the radial and at those figures. So, gear down, flaps down, hook down, all check. Unpause, ATC off, off the throttle, air brake out, maintain the altitude. Our next port of call will be six miles, or our next stage will be six miles. Lots of trimming required at this point, of course, because our flaps are going out. Everything's changing. Air brake back in. I'm just going to master warning there. I don't know what it is. I'm slightly worried about it, but let's carry on and see what happens. Everything's otherwise okay. 140 knots. Just trimming there. Slightly low. About to hit six miles. Okay. We've now got our glide slope. So, so far, laterally, we've been guided by Takan and elevation-wise, we've been guided by Mother. But now we're within six miles, we're switching over to ICLS. We've always had it, but I've just ignored it. It is the glide slope line here, which in relation to our velocity vector here, guides us left and right. And we have glide slope here, which now guides us down the glide slope in relation to the velocity vector to the carrier. I want to get them in the middle of the velocity vector, but there was a bit of a trick to it in that. We are not going to try and climb up to the glide slope. We're going to let it come down to us as we maintain 1,200 feet. Otherwise, a quick check around the cockpit. Check, check, check. Um, our master caution is showing, and it appears to be because we've run out of fuel, but we've got enough, so that's okay. So let's continue. Right, new information coming through. Going to have to pause again. So now we've got data. It is saying that ACL ready. This is telling us that it is ready to take control of the aircraft. To do that, we press autopilot here, and then we'll press couple autopilot mode there. I feel like I'm slightly out of parameters. I'm not quite comfortable, so I'll try it. And if it doesn't work, then we'll try and get slightly better positioned on these needles and try it again. We've got plenty of time. So I'm going to unpause. I just want to get my trim a little bit more happy. I do not want any, any stick input during this uh, part. Okay, let's autopilot, couple. Okay, it's done it fine. You'll see that once we press it, it says obviously couple PR, and that's it. She will guide us, uh, uh, the carrier will guide us all the way home. Oh, there's one more thing. Um, ATC needs to go back on. So ATC, I need to get back, back down to 140 knots. And then ATC on now. And that will hold us. Theoretically, it should hold us at that speed. Right. If coupled starts flashing that means it's out of parameters and it's about to start going off which has happened several times uh, before but this time all looks good because I was nicely trimmed and at about the right speed there is not a lot to say and I can do now sexy things like this three miles out uh, we do need to call the ball of course at three quarters of a mile I've got that bound and I'll do that in a bit also, note how well ACLS flies compared to me. It's so lovely. Possibly the world's most relaxing carrier landing. Okay, I'm going to call the ball now. Right, all I've got to do now, viewers, is not forget to go to mill power, or full power, 
uh, once we're about to touch the wires. Ten seconds out. And power up. And we're golden. And that is ACLS. Just remember, set everything up right and it will work first time every time. Bye-bye.